Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. In today's episode, I will show you what I think can potentially happen during this week on Bitcoin. I already have the drawings on right here and I'll show you exactly in detail why, but we broke this previous resistance at 23,500. We just might need to pull back down to retest this previous resistance, turn it into a new support, also give us another higher low around this level for the market then too, to create a higher high. Lower time frame we've seen that the market did retest the 50 percent one time two times three times and these two previous retests we have two fake out candles i do believe that we can pull back down but i'll show you exactly why and this is very important this must be the most important video that you'll see during this week okay remember i'm no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first but please continue looking at this video and i'll show you exactly with market structure simple way of looking at the charts and see potentially what can happen this week on Bitcoin. buy position on Bitcoin but I move my stop loss above entry so I have a risk-free trade and I'll show you exactly what potentially can happen soon but don't forget that you can also receive the best bonus available right now on Bybit up to $4,450 by using the link in the description down below the video and you also have it pinned in the corner. So we still have the Fibonacci on the weekly chart now we do have we did have it yesterday at uh, based on the two daily but I want to have it on the weekly chart so it's going to be precisely from 29,956 back down to 19,277 which again gives us Fibonacci levels between 24,600 and 25,000 or let's say 26,000 okay let's look at the weekly chart this is very important because we're looking at a candlestick that broke this previous resistance that we can see on the lower time frames this week we had the market break above the previous resistance that we fought a, a couple of times we did retest the 50 percent and with this candlestick that broke above this little resistance we can go to the two daily again you can see how that happens and we can also see that this is actually a level where we can see a potential reverse back down because this two daily candle is closing in three hours and one minutes so if we see that because we do have a doji against that level so we could most likely see the market reverse back down for a potential breakout and retest of the resistance that we did break at 23,450. So this is definitely a level where you could potentially see the market get drawn to again for a potential retest and then another higher high that could be around 26,000. And you can already see how the market, I've been showing you this so, so many times, a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. We broke this previous higher high now, we created another higher high. We just might see the market give us another higher low just the way you saw right here so we just might have a couple of days where we see the market being bearish to retest the resistance again if we go down to the lower time frames to see more clear now because we understand that on the on the two daily chart we have one doji closing like this on the weekly chart we have a pretty massive candlestick that broke above the resistance but based on market structure now it actually looks like we can have the market reversing so we're gonna take a Fibonacci now from 22,625 back up to the high at 24,417 this is crazy guys have you seen every time I do this every time I drew the box and then I put the Fibonacci it's always so perfectly so based on this Fibonacci now we can pull back down to 23,530 potentially 23,305 now around these levels as I said for a potential retest and take profit one is exactly combined with the Fibonacci the 50% slightly above and the minus 0.75 is slightly below the 61.8% if this Fibonacci is valid with we will most likely be very good levels to have a take profit on if the market pulls back down to give us a retest of this previous resistance turn it into a new support, turn it into a new higher low for then have a momentum to create the next higher high. We can now go down to the lower time frames, and we do have a pretty volatile candlestick now. If we drag another Fibonacci from 23,656 back up to the high at 24,850, technically this is supposed to be where a higher low is created on the four hourly, but now we have to remember that we're looking at the 
50%. And 50% is a very strong level to get drawn to, but also get rejected against. So because the market did create a high high against this level. And on the four hourly chart, we can see that this right here and these two candlesticks right here, they are representing the fake out candlestick. So this could be where we see the market preparing itself to reverse and looking back at the previous four hourly candle that we did have today, we did retest it, but we do have a pretty volatile candlestick and the other candlesticks combined with it. Now, we, what we have to remember when we're looking at the chart is that the chart is always telling us a story. And the story is that the market did create a higher high, a higher low, Another higher high, we did retest again or we closed inside the 50%. Market came back down to create a higher low because remember the previous higher low was this one at 23,656. We had another higher low. Market came back up exactly to the resistance now. One, two, three times we've been, re we've been reacting to this resistance and we can see that the more every time the market has retested it, you see the market bounce back down. Based on these two tops right here based on and we can use it as fake up candles and now we have the momentum down so technically this previous higher low at 24,387 is the last higher low when we actually broke that higher low and this level right now what we're looking at between 24,255 and 24,120 if this is a higher low that it will be respected, then we will only come back into these levels and then see the market reverse back up. I don't think that actually will happen based now that we were looking at the higher time frames and it actually looks like we can come pull back. It looks like we can pull back down to the previous resistance. So if we see that the market break below this level and we have a retest from below now, this is very important. And that could be the beginning back down to the resistance that I did speak about around 23,520 and 23,310. From here, we could potentially see the market slowly and steady work itself up to the higher target. So I do expect that this week in the beginning, we will be bearish, but that is only because on the higher time frames, we just not we just might need to have the pullback when we see the market actually reversing back down that is only because we need the market needs to pull back after the market did create the higher high so what we're just looking at is market structure but remember now that you can obviously see the market being bullish again but if that's the case we need to break above this previous support this previous higher low that we did break at 24,360 we need to see the market break above have a retest because if that's the case if you've been on my channel for a long time you know that this was only a fake out from that previous higher low so if fake does out if that's the case now to pretend that it's going down, but it's actually going up. And that's why we're using this preview support because if we have a fake out, the market always fake us out from the last support that we did have in this case. And then we see the market break inside, have the retest, and that could be the continuation back up. I don't think this is the case now because you can see how the market broke below this previous higher low. We saw the retest and now but we're obviously looking at Fibonacci levels that is also respected, but I don't think that this will hold as a higher low. I do believe that we will have a bigger momentum back down now. If we also drag a trend line, if we see that the market break pulls back down, that can also be the retest of this trend line. And if we would see, of course, us breaking below 23,280, this could also only have been a retest of the 50%. Potentially the retest of it is done. The momentum to the upside is done. And if we would break below 23,000, now around 23,300 retest from below, remember that if that's the case, we're also breaking structure. The same way that I spoke about on the lower time frames that we're breaking structure, it's exactly the same thing, but it obviously take longer time when we're looking at the daily chart. Definitely, definitely a big sign that we're continuing back back down because remember the overall overall the market is still in a downtrend so for us to be in a bullish market we need to break above this previous lower high at 29,600. I still strongly believe that this uh, that we're going to continue back down to lower targets what we're looking at right now is only a pullback 
that we've been waiting for a long time, but we are retesting the 50% now. We just might pull back up to retest 61.8%. We'll see everything on the lower time frame. So thank you so much guys for looking at this video together with me. I hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification so you know when I am live or when I do have my daily updates and we'll see exactly what's gonna happen during this week when we have these drawings on. So remember these drawings and let us just look at it together and see what's gonna play out. Until we see each other again, I hope everyone will have a great week and I hope you had a great weekend because I had. Have a good day everyone, for Sweden.